make a Cartesian diver using a couple of odd things. For this you will require a small plastic dropper, a big bottle, scissors and a steel nut. Take the plastic dropper and affix three pieces of colored tape. This is to decorate the dropper. Then take the steel nut and insert it in the stem of the dropper. This will make the dropper heavy. Now fill the dropper with, a, with water. You will have to do this a couple of times till the water enters the bulb. This time once you float it, you find it's too heavy. It sinks to the bottom. Not good enough. Remove a couple of drops of water. Again put in the water. If it floats, it is fine. There should be just enough water in the dropper to make it float. This is perfect. Now take this perfect dropper and transfer it into a bottle full of water. The dropper would be just floating. Take the lid of the bottle and tighten it completely. Now hold the bottle with one hand and squeeze it with the other. You will be surprised that the diver sinks to the bottom. On releasing the pressure, it climbs up. You can also adjust the pressure of the bottle and make the diver stand in the middle, stand still in the middle. You can press it hard and then it will sink and you can see that the water rises in the dropper and lowers. You can see this very very clearly. On releasing the pressure it goes to the top. Now take this dropper and transfer it into a tube light filled with water. If you squeeze the bulb on top it sinks four feet down. You get a very long stroke with this. If you release the pressure it comes up four feet. Now using an old tube light and an old CD box you can make this very delightful scientific exhibit which gives you a four feet long stroke. So this is really a very very deep diver.